Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you free software. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. This is not OBS. If you've had problems with OBS, don't worry about it. This is a lot better. People are saying wonderful things about this in regards to recording your screen for free. Now, this is only available with Windows, but now people are looking for a free good option. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. The website is flashbackrecorder.com. It's also linked in the description box below. This page will pull up. It's a secured website. Now don't right away click on try flashback for free. They're going to try to push their pro software, but we want free. Free is good. So you come up here to products top left here and flashback express. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click on flashback express. Now again, they're gonna try to oversell their pro right here, try pro for free. We don't want pro, we're gonna go ahead and continue to express. Down here, get express for free. Again, this is only for Windows 10, 8, and 7. So we're gonna go ahead and click get express for free. It's gonna go ahead and download, obviously down here in the bottom left. I've already downloaded it now a few times just for the purpose of this video. Thanks for downloading. Go ahead and open that up when it has downloaded just like this. Go ahead and run it. I've already have done this. And then go ahead and open up the program, saved a icon on your desktop, locate the program wherever you saved it to and open it up. Let me show you some settings. We're gonna have to switch off of screen recording for this process though. All right guys, we're gonna have to jump off of screen recorder and film it with a regular camera here. We're gonna show you a couple of different options here in the settings. Now, after you download it, you will see your main window here. Now you can record a couple different options. You can record full screen, you can record region, or you can record window. You can also record sound. As you can see here, my meter is running because I have my Yeti microphone, but you can also record off of your webcam and I have my default speakers and you can adjust these volumes, etc. You can also record off of a webcam here and over here in tools, you click options there, and then this pops up here. You have all sorts of different options here. The only thing I really changed was here, the second one, record mode performance. I went ahead and unchecked the automatic and actually checked I want to record normal applications with lossless quality, GDI mode, and I bumped that up to 30 frames. For a gameplay or whatnot, you might wanna bump that up to 25, 30-ish around there, but it will be a larger file size, obviously. Okay, other than that, not too much different. I went ahead and hit OK, and now we're back in the menu here. So very simple, but a very cool program. It depends on your computer's performance, but let's go ahead and click record. So I'm gonna go ahead and click record here, and it takes me upwards of maybe 10, 15 seconds. It depends on your computer, obviously before it actually starts recording. Let's see how long this one takes. All right, that took about 20 seconds or so. I chopped that editing down, obviously. Now we are recording. So as we're recording here, you have pause or you have obviously stop. Now you can actually minimize this window and then come down here and you can bring that window back up or you can hit some shortcuts. And here we go right here. You can open up the main window, pause or stop it. Shift control right would be your stop. So let's go ahead and stop this video. You can pause it obviously, but let's go ahead and stop it. Now let me show you a couple things here. Now, what would you like to do with the recording? You can review it and actually edit it. You can save it, but it's gonna be saved as a flashback express recording, which my editing software or YouTube, I do not believe is okay with that. So we actually need to export it and save it as a MP4 or Windows media file. So instead of hitting save, we're gonna go ahead and hit review. Hitting review is gonna take you into the main editing reviewing. As we can see here, it opens up and this is it right here. So we can play it. And obviously I have my headphones turned in, but there is your volume track. You can edit it right on here if you want. But what we're concerned about here is down below, right here, we're gonna go ahead and hit export. Once you hit export, then you have your options right here. MPEG-4, AVI, which Sony Vegas Pro hates AVI. The new Sony Vegas Pros, eh, better. Or Windows Media Video. I'm gonna go ahead and check Windows Media Video, and then you just hit OK and however long your file is. You can alter a few things there. I just always leave that the same and export it. 
and then obviously save it to your desktop, name it whatever you want down below and it will be a MPEG-4, whatever one you chose. Mine again is Windows Media Video. I'm gonna go ahead and type test, save that bad boy and it exports as a Windows Media Video. All right guys, once it is saved, just fire up your editing software and you can drop it in right into your timeline. And here we go right here. Again, I was recording this particular one with the Yeti microphone a little bit more away from me. That's why my audio track is a little bit lower. Mess around with the settings a little bit, but overall, I'm fantastically thrilled with this software. It's free, <laughs> so you have to be thrilled with it. So here, once again, is the website, flashbackrecorder.com. It is also linked in the description box below. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.